The steel industry has seen a sharp rise in imports, particularly from Asia. Government has approved increased tariffs on three steel products, and we are evaluating the case for further products to be provided with tariff support. As we do so, we send a signal that we will do what is necessary to assist companies to weather the storms and the headwinds. But we are also sending a message in our talks with those companies that they need to invest in their competitiveness instead of relying simply on trade measures. Such investments include upgrading plant and equipment and critically improve maintenance of the existing productive capacity. But it also embraces investment in better workplace relationships. You can't only get new machinery when you don't also find ways of modernizing your industrial relations. We are pleased, therefore, that business and labor are working together at sectoral level to address the immediate challenges. The IDC stepped in at Highfeld Steel when the company was threatened with closure and provided a facility of 150 million rand to give the company the breathing space to find a new technology and equity partner. I am pleased to note that the discussions on Highfeld Steel has progressed constructively. The business rescue practitioner solicited bids from new equity partners for the company based on keeping it as a going concern. More than one serious bidder was identified and detailed discussions have now been concluded with these bidders. The business rescue practitioner will make an announcement on Wednesday this week on the successful bidder and we are advised that the new owners will invest heavily in Highfeld Steel to modernize its industrial base. These two examples of tariff increases and provision of industrial funding illustrate the efforts to hold on to our industrial capacity, but they also point to the opportunities to expand production for the domestic market. 